Carrera, corporate dietitian at Shield Healthcare. So I'm going to show you how to start your feeding using the Infinity Enterolite feeding pump. Today we have it on an IV pole. It doesn't always have to go on a pole, but today we'll show you how to start your feeding on the pole. So we start with our feeding bag. This is the feeding bag that goes with this pump. This is the smaller size. There's also a larger size. We're gonna start with the small one today. We're gonna to open the cap. That's the first, after you wash your hands, of course. You're gonna open the cap. It's kind of like a gas cap in that you have to push it down and twist it or twist it and pull it up so that it has a good seal, doesn't let any air in. So when you're pouring your formula in, you wanna be careful that you don't spill it everywhere. So you want to make sure you pull out the back of the bag so that you let a little air in there. And we're gonna come over here. You wanna shake the formula so that anything that's separated comes back together. Start pouring it in. You're probably gonna to wanna to make sure that the end is capped. Then you'll pour your formula in. And we'll just fill it up halfway. Then number one, you wanna get any air out of the bag. You don't want the air going into your stomach. So you can start that process by kind of squeezing the bag. Squeeze as much air as you can. Then you wanna cap it. Remember you have to make sure that it twists on well so no air can get in there. There's another way to prime the pump manually to get even more air out. This is a faster way than doing it by the automatic way on the pump. There's a little teardrop etched onto this blue tubing. Push that teardrop down and as you squeeze the bag, what that does is allow air to go through here. It opens up this tubing so you can squeeze the bag and see the formula pushing the air out. And that's how you manually prime the bag. You can also choose to have the pump do the priming or the air removal for you. So first we're going to load the set. All you do is pull this tubing over this round black plastic piece here, that's the rotor. You might have to stretch it a little bit, but then it fits right in there. We close the door and then we turn the pump on. It's gonna go through a series of numbers while it kind of warms up. You wanna make sure you always keep your pump plugged in as much as possible. That helps extend the battery life. So now we've got the pump turned on. We're going to set a rate that we want the feeding to run, but first we're going to prime, finish priming it to release any air out of the bag. So you can either put the end of this into a cup or you can just put your finger on the end or just watch it and make sure that the formula doesn't go out. Because as long as you're holding down this prime button, the formula is going to go through. So you can see it going through, you can hear the rotor turning, you know it's working. And then we're going to see it come out the other end here. If you want to stop priming, you just let go of that button. Otherwise, you need to hold it down until you get to the end. So you're basically going to push all of the air out to the end of this tubing and you'll see the formula go down. And the purpose of that again is to make sure that you're not getting any air into your stomach because that can cause gas and bloating and of course be uncomfortable. So once we're done priming, then we can set a rate for how fast we want the pump to go. So we'll go ahead and do that. On the screen here, it says rates. If you were to push this rate slash dose button, it'll say dose. So let's start with the rate. We'll go back to the rate screen. Right now it says 250. It's set for 250 milliliters per hour. If you don't want it to go that fast, you're gonna hit this subtract button here down to the rate that you want it at. Let's say we want it at 100. Oops, we went too far, that's okay. We can keep going back up the other way until we get to 100. Now we're set for 100. If you want to set the dose, then we're going to hit this rate slash dose key again, and we're going to go to the dose screen. Notice right now it says 0 0.1. We want to get rid of that decimal point. People can make a mistake and accidentally put a dose of 0.7 or 7.0 instead of 70. So we want to make sure we get rid of that decimal point. So we're just hitting that plus button until we get to the dose that we want. We filled the bag up about halfway, so let's say we want the dose to be 250. We can set the dose to 250. 
and that's how much formula is going to run through and the pump is going to stop when it's done infusing 250 milliliters. If we just want the pump to keep running until it's empty, then that's called the infinity setting. So we can just hit this plus button, push it down all the way until it gets to INF, which stands for infinity. That means the pump will not stop until it's out of formula. There we are at INF. So we've set the pump to run at 100 milliliters per hour until as long as we have formula in the bag. Now we can hit our run button and the formula will start infusing. And there you see it going through. And that's how you start your feeding with the Infinity pump. Thank you very much.